538's Galen Druk joins me now for more on all of this. Galen, how have issues like abortion rights and inflation, how do they seem to be shaping these primary elections and what, do you, what can you see coming for the midterms there? Yeah, absolutely. So most of today's elections are primaries, which means Democrats running against Democrats and Republicans running against Republicans. And unsurprisingly, those partisans generally agree with each other on those issues. But one of the races we'll see tonight where Republicans and Democrats are going to face off is in New York's 19th congressional district. There's a special election there because the former representative, Antonio Delgado, is now the lieutenant governor of New York. And so we have seen the Democrat, Pat Ryan there, run pretty heavily on abortion rights after the Dobbs decision. We've seen Mark Molinaro, the Republican there, run pretty heavily on things like inflation and crime. And so, and this is a truly swing district. Biden won this district by only one and a half points. It voted for Obama twice, it voted for Trump once. So this is a great testing ground to see how these appeals are going to shape the electorate and how the electorate is going to respond. And so after we have results tonight, that'll be an important data point in understanding how the midterms this fall might go. That's an interesting one. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis will also find out who he'll be running against for the general. How's that race shaping up? So when it comes to the Democratic primary, it'll be either Charlie Crist, the former governor of Florida, former Republican, or it will be Nikki Freed, the current statewide electoral official in Florida. Now, Chris used to be a Republican, but is now a Democrat. How is that impacting things? So yeah, he's gone through a transformation. Used to be a Republican, became an independent in 2020, and then became a Democrat. And his appeal to Florida voters is that, you know, the state has trended to the right over the past few years, and perhaps a former Republican can appeal to your median average voter in a way that uh, a true and blue Democrat might not be able to. When it comes to that primary race, it looks like Chris is likely to win. But in reality, it probably doesn't matter which Democrat, Chris now being a Democrat, wins. It is very likely that Ron DeSantis will be, you know, the next governor of Florida. Currently, the 538 forecast model gives that a 92% chance of happening. Ron DeSantis is pretty popular in the state. His approval rating was as high as 55% earlier this year. It's ticked down a little bit, but still more Floridians approve of the job that he's doing than disapprove. And that goes to things like his COVID response. Some of his reactions to culture war issues more recently have been a little more true to the right conservative and maybe have less broad appeal. Maybe that's why his approval has ticked down a little bit over the past couple months. But ultimately, it's pretty unlikely that Democrats are able to unsee him. All right, Galen, always great to have you. Thank you. Hey, folks, I predict that you're going to either subscribe to our YouTube channel or watch some related videos, or both. Um, you can do both, but you can't do neither. So either subscribe or watch more videos.